Beneath the busy streets of New York City, just one quick elevator ride away, lies a surprising new innovation in sustenance and sustainability. Come with us to discover the future of urban food in this episode of What's in the Basement. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm the farm manager here at Farm One. We're an underground hydroponic farm uh, in New York City. One of the advantages of being a hydroponic farm is that we're able to control the environment in which we grow the crops. So we have about 1,200 uh, square feet of grow space. All of our grow systems are uh, arranged vertically and we can move them uh, back and forth. So we have a very, very tight and very efficient use of our space. We actually use uh, less water in our systems than we do uh, for our laundry. A lot of hydroponic farms you'll see are planted you know, entirely with rows of lettuce or basils. Here at uh, Farm One, we have hundreds of different crops. Chefs will sometimes come to us and say, uh, you know, I can't find this particular microgreen anywhere. I can't find this herb anywhere. It only grows in Southeast Asia or uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, we're able to grow these things because we have really kind of precision underground here to grow, to control all the conditions and grow uh, really unique products for people. So we are going to show you how we do planting here at Farm One. Microgreens, which we specialize in, are the smallest, earliest form of plant. So all of the nutrients and the growth um, is concentrated in a small shoot when we harvest the plant. This is a spun rock. So the rock is spun very finely and this allows moisture to kind of seep into the rock behind, um, between the fibers and it gives the, the roots strong uh, structure as they grow. And then over here we have um, a tray that's filled with um, an organic material. It looks exactly like soil but it is not. Um, it's made of things like coconut husk. So we've been soaking these seeds for about half an hour or so. So I'm using tweezers or forceps um, and I'm going to place two seeds in every site of the tray. So if you can imagine looking at these trays, each tray has 200 sites, so we're using 400 seeds per tray and we have three trays. So we devote a lot of capacity at the farm to planting because as you can imagine, it takes some time to seed all of these individual sites. Uh, this is called toothache plant. Uh, and this is native to the Yucatan Peninsula. It grows these nice kind of, you know, dark green leaves, but what we really grow them for is these, uh, these buds. Uh, each of these buds contains thousands of little flowers, and when you chew it, uh, it numbs your mouth. It's very spicy, it's almost salty, it makes you salivate, it's very acidic, it's very wild, it's very weird. So as you chew the bud, the cell walls start to break down and you start getting this really kind of tingling, odd sort of sensation across your palate. Your, numb go, your, your tongue goes numb a little bit. It tastes salty. It tastes metallic. It really starts to expand across your palate and it's hard for me to even talk after that. Wow. You can really have, it's kind of like a, shot of Novocaine right to, uh, right, right to your gums there. Packs a punch. Hydroponic technology is one that is particularly utilizing of like small spaces. So we're able to do quite a bit with a very limited amount of space. Thinking creatively about um, available space is one of the ways that you can start to really see some of these dead spaces turn into like centers of production in places that are both like creating jobs but also creating incredible value for the local community. Mm -hmm.